Hello to my beautiful friends and welcome to a new and a very last minute video. So I just finished streaming. I was playing Animal Crossing New Leaf on Twitch and you guys kind of inspired me to make a predictions video. Well, you guys and a lot of my friends who have done the same thing. So I wanted to kind of get this in there before the Animal Crossing Direct tomorrow and see if I could say anything that then comes true tomorrow morning because that would be really cool. Um, but yeah, so I am reading off of a little thing I wrote on the screen and just kind of talking out of thin air about some of my ideas on what we might see tomorrow morning. For those of you guys who don't know, I am streaming tomorrow morning on Twitch starting at 8.30 a.m. So if you want to hang out with me in my jammies and hopefully some coffee if I get up early enough, um, that would be wonderful because we're going to watch it together and uh, it's going to be really fun. But... As far as what I think we are gonna see tomorrow, the exact phrasing of the Nintendo tweet was featuring an in-depth look at Nook Inc.'s deserted island getaway package. So I think that the Direct is gonna open with Tom Nook, and I think that he is gonna introduce us to the game and tell us more aspects of this little getaway package that we're gonna get. I think that one of the things they're gonna mention tomorrow is gonna be the museum. For those of you guys who don't know, we recently found out that the museum is coming back because there is an Animal Crossing guidebook listed on Amazon and it has a synopsis and it talks about how it's going to tell you how to collect all the fossils. And um, it also mentions showing us about the stock market and things like that. So we know that those aspects are going to be returned to the game. I don't think anyone thought that they wouldn't include those things, but still we haven't seen anything yet, so I'm really hoping that we see more about the museum tomorrow. I feel like Nintendo knows that we all know, so they just need to just come out and say it. Just give us all the juicy details. Um, I think it's also fair to say that we might see some new characters tomorrow. I know there was that leaked piece of um, art that came out for, I believe it was a sticker or a switch case that had some characters on it that we'd never seen before. One of them looked like a tiny little baby Joan or a perhaps a niece or daughter of Joan who runs the stock market in New Leaf. Um, another character was a chameleon and he was bright red and he looked kind of like hardcore and cool, like a little young punk. And um, people are thinking that he might be taking over the bug catching contest, which would be so cool to have just some new characters thrown into the mix. I do love the old ones, but I like new things too. So I would not be surprised if we saw some of those new characters. Um, I think we might see some more building options as well. They've shown us that we can make little pieces of furniture on the island, but they haven't really shown us anything else we can make as far as structures. And I think it'd be really neat if there were some tropical themed things. I know that we had Brewster's in New Leaf, which was the coffee shop, but what if to make it more of an island thing, we could make like a smoothie cafe? like. What if, what, if, uh, what if we had that instead of coffee? Or what if it served coffee in the winter and smoothies in the summer? Like, that would be really nice. It'd also be cool to see something like a scuba shop, maybe? Maybe even run by one of those little gyroid dudes where we could buy scuba gear because I feel like swimming in the ocean is gonna be so much more of a big deal now that it's an island. You know, it's cut off from the rest of civilization, so we're gonna have to do some swimming. So I expect swimming to be a, a much bigger deal than it was in the last game. And another thing I wrote down was Harvey and his cabin. So for those of you guys who saw, there was um, some promotional art that featured Harvey and a cabin, and the cabin had a little camera picture on it. So I'm thinking, and a lot of people are thinking, it's not my own individual thought that there is going to be something involving your phone and taking screenshots and that cabin. Perhaps we're going to have to take photos of things on our island and then people or animals will see those pictures and then they'll want to move into our island. It's a getaway package so it makes sense that in order for animals to move there, we're going to have to increase the desirability of the location. Like I live in Florida and it's a very big touristy place to live and you know to get people to come here, you know, we're like bright sandy beaches and we have Disney World. So I, I feel like maybe the cabin will have something to do with that and maybe Nintendo will show us something tomorrow. I mean, 
I hope so, because that would make me so happy. Um, another thing I think we'll see, easily, more clothing and hairstyles. We've seen a lot of hairstyles so far. We've seen so many kinds of clothing, different hem lengths, different sleeves, different styles. And I would like for Nintendo tomorrow, if possible, to maybe show us even the character creation screen. Like, show us the hairstyles we can choose, show us the different colors that we can choose from, um, how we set our skin tone, different outfits. Um, now that we are literally a month out, like not even from this game dropping, we have almost no information. And since they're dedicating 25 minutes to this, I really feel like we're gonna get a lot. And it would be nice if they showed us how we actually make our characters. And then they could, you know, go in with a little tagline like, make yourself in Animal Crossing New Horizons. And it would be a really great way to kind of sell that to people who don't know about the franchise. Because believe it or not, there are people out there who have never played an Animal Crossing game, and this is gonna be their first one. So, Isabel. I really want to see Isabel. Um, I know that we have, um, we know that she's going to be in the game. You know, we've seen art of her in the style, we've seen her in promotional pieces, but we, we haven't seen what she's going to do. So I think it'd be really cool if Nook perhaps introduced or discussed Isabel and what her role is going to be on the island. Since she wears that cute little Hawaiian shirt, it almost makes it look like she is employed in some kind of business on the island. It'd be nice if she dealt with the tourism industry there and getting animals in, or maybe she helps you with setting laws or policies, or maybe even you can choose what holidays you want to celebrate on the island, like total control. Like if you don't like Toy Day, you don't have to do Toy Day. Like what, what if you could literally decide those things? So I'd really like to see Isabel. I also think it would be very cute if there was some kind of smash easter egg where the first time that we meet her she says something like oh you know I've been away fighting or training or you know this is going to be a lot easier than my last job and reference smash brothers in some way I think it would be really really funny but I would not be surprised if we see her tomorrow as well um, I also just wrote down a bunch of notes about more pathways and more furniture. I think we're definitely going to see those things. I think now that we are, I know, I know Nintendo knows that this game is going to be like their big seller of the season because they don't really have too much crazy else that's coming out that's this huge. Um, so I, I, I think that they want to kind of put it all out there tomorrow and I really hope I'm right. And I honestly, I actually, I oh not honestly, but actually, I, um, I took some screenshots during the stream. A couple people offered their suggestions on what we are going to see tomorrow. So I wanted to spotlight some of those. Um, we had one from Snail Comics that says, I have an actual prediction. They're going to have an in-game social media feed where you can share images of your island with friends and you could see your friends. I really like that idea from Snail. I think some kind of online system where people can upload screenshots of their town, clothing designs that they've made, um, a million other different things, I think it would be a really good idea. And I think Animal Crossing is such a game built on community that it could really make use out of these kind of resources. Because we used QR codes for clothing and New Leaf, but we need something else to share those things now because we do we do know that clothing design is going to make a return that's designing patterns and things like that is not something that the series can let go of so having a way to share it on an online sort of message board or like an online marketplace that'd be really cool so i really like that idea from snail the dongarino himself says i predict the bike will no longer be a piece of furniture there was a promotional art piece um that had the bikes in a rack in the background and there are some people suspecting that we would be able to maybe ride a bike around the island kind of like you do in pokemon and i think that would be really cool other methods of transportation plus i kind of want to see what a person looks like in the animal crossing style riding a bicycle so that's really neat i don't think that's too far-fetched of an idea i don't think we'll get like full-on cars to drive around but I think a bicycle is a pretty fair um, thought there. Or a pogo stick. I would like to bounce around on a pogo stick on my island. 
We have Taz, who says, I'm thinking we'll learn more about the museum and how it will work. I'm hoping it'll be on a ship or something that docks at the island. I really like this concept of perhaps some of these businesses or buildings that we establish are not buildings, but could even be boats. You know how in the campground we have the RVs that visit us where we can go and buy items from the animals? What if random ships or ships that we request come and dock in our harbor and we can interact with those and purchase items or like Taz says, like a museum, like a boat museum. That would be really cool. And I very much so like that idea. Let's see, we have Edward Bova says, well, maybe you could use the game specific features and Nintendo Switch Online app to send messages to communicate and keep up with your town in small, simple ways when you're not near your Nintendo Switch. So their thought is that we can use the Nintendo Switch app, which not a lot of people use or really like the Nintendo Switch app. Sadly, I, I don't really care for it much either, but maybe there will be ways of using the app, because it does say it's compatible, to send messages to our friends or to interact or to talk to them, which would be awesome. I mean, it, it would be really cool, honestly, if there was some interactivity with your phone and you could type up a message and send a letter to your friend or organize a play date. Um, without having to do it over Discord or Twitter or Facebook, you know, just having another way to communicate. So I would not be surprised if they give us more reasons to use the Nintendo Switch app on our phones. I think they really want us to, so I would not be surprised. I think that's fair. We have Stardew, who says, an island expansion? This is a cool idea. The thought that we have an island, but perhaps we could work really, really hard and expand it. Like make it bigger, maybe even change the land. I like that thought. Kind of like in Roller Coaster Tycoon where you could just buy more land and then add more land and then add more land until you can't anymore. Waste all your money on that and then the whole roller coaster park just crashes and burns because you run out of money. But in Animal Crossing, things like that don't happen. It's a very happy place. So if you could expand the island, I think it would be great. I would like that. It's a very good idea, Star. Let's see. All right. We have Brian who says, I just want to see some new mechanics. Yo, me too. Honestly. <laughs> I feel like we are so in the dark when it comes to this game and this fandom, like Animal Crossing as a whole. We are a sweet and gentle people. Like, we are not difficult to please. I mean, yes, Amiibo Festival was just this damaging spot on our history, but everything else has just been great. And so I feel like we haven't seen very much of the game mechanic so far, and we're being so, so patient. So Nintendo, please, please show us some more stuff. Show us some more things. And I really do think that they will. I think it's like, we got like 30 days. I feel like we're gonna see more. So which boy had two really uh, cute ideas that I liked for tomorrow. They said, I'm hoping for bat villagers to make the cut. If you guys haven't seen, there is this uh, fan art going around that someone did of these custom VAT villagers that they designed. They're not real, so they're not, not Nintendo, um, but they are so stinking cute and they did a really, really good job and I would not be disappointed if VAT villagers were put into the game. Or possums. I saw somebody do possums too. You guys are really good artists. Everyone's an amazing artist and I wish that all their ideas were in this game would make me very happy. And Witch Boy's second suggestion um, for what we might see tomorrow, mini games. This game is so focused on the multiplayer aspect. They want people to pay for the Nintendo Switch Online membership, and they want people to play together. So much like we had the island mini games in New Leaf, I think we're gonna have island island mini games in New Horizons. We haven't seen what any of those are yet, but I feel like in order to encourage longevity and people continuously using the multiplayer function, they're gonna need more than just, you know, people running around on the island and like swapping items and having little typed out conversations, which although is very, very fun and something I spent hours and hours doing with New Leaf, 
I think that we need to see more of those multiplayer features. Show us what we can do when our friends come over and hang out, and more ways that we can connect with the people that we care about. But yeah, so those were some suggestions of what we might see tomorrow, and some suggestions of what you guys thought we might see tomorrow. I am so, so hyped, and I'm also really excited because I'm gonna go eat food with friends after this. So delicious food, go to sleep, wake up, drink coffee, Animal Crossing stream. So if you want to hang out with me, I'm going to be on Twitch, 8.30 a.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time, twitch.tv backslash misfushi, and you can come and hang out and we can have a really good time and we can make predictions in that chat as well. And it's going to be really fun. So let's hope for the best. Thank you so much for watching and oh, there's a Momo. There's it's my cat in the background. Okay, I'm going to go. I'll see you guys later. Thank you so much for watching.